Hello there, and how are you doing? Oh, I'm so delighted to hear it. And guess what? I'm still alive and kicking also. Ha, it's wonderful news. Well, I'm here. This is week 45 of lockdown. Mm. I've been under house arrest for 45 weeks and no ankle bracelet to show for it. Oh well, never mind. All this will pass one day. Anyway, I wanted to show you that everything is now running in the simulator. Let's give you a little quick tour, shall we? First of all, here is the entire vista. Three monitors. I have 180 degrees of view. It's amazing. Now, admittedly, I did want to have 4K. These are 4K monitors after all. But my graphic cards and my computer, which is over there, to run those it's just not powerful enough so that means I can get two to run 4k but not the other one which is sort of silly and besides running them all at 1k high definition is not bad after all the whole idea is to create the illusion isn't it so and I think the illusion is pretty good. Let me do a sweep for you here. Let me just show you. Look at all the vehicles out there. And then going across, you can see all of the stands. By the way, I'm parked at stand number seven at Ljubljana. And I'm in preparation for a flight to go to Split in Croatia. Now that was requested by Ivan Fletcher, who wrote me and asked me if I would do a flight between Manchester and Split. But you know, that's an awfully long flight. And for those of you who are pilots, you will know that in a jet, once you've programmed it and taken off, it's just a matter of, you know, having an alarm go off to tell you when it's time to come in and land. There's nothing to do in between. Not like the good old days when constant trim and constant adjustments and making sure you weren't drifting. It's a lot different today with the jets. But anyway, I thought that 1K looked pretty darn good. And besides, I do get an excellent frame rate. Look at the frame rate I get here. This is just, just to show you how good this is. Now, I'm running this on two computers. I have one computer over here and another computer over here. The one over there, it runs all of the hardware. It runs all of the seven monitors that I've still got on my instrument panel here. This, of course, is an independent little tablet and it runs all of my Navigraph charts. But over here to the left, this is the main window startup screen and it's also the one where I can make adjustments as I need to. I have one monitor here with two screens. 
I have another monitor behind this one and yes I had to put some printed backup screens there because PMDG are no longer making the, the backup instruments for a cockpit. Don't know why. Then over here on the first officer's side you can see that's another monitor behind those two screens. And then here we've got the right CDU, the lower display unit which is another separate monitor and then the left CDU. So with this one on the side that makes seven monitors that are basically running instruments for the main cockpit itself. On the other hand the other computer is running nothing but the three external screens with some very good frame rate. Now the three screens are not exactly matched in height. I lowered the left and I lowered the right because it was a bit of a waste having so much screen above my view here when I could lower it down. Now, I realize I've got some bare wood here, but that's because I've been doing some trimming. This is a, a piece of vinyl flooring, just a piece of scrap. But this is the material, and I've got a big roll of it, that's going to go over all of these areas to cover up all the bare wood. And I'll finish the trim probably sometime during next week. And we'll give you a look at the rest of the cockpit. Just look how wide this is. It's, you can see just about everything here. And I use the P3D group view to produce that view on the outside. I'm using Active Sky on the server computer which I call Flight One and it transmits the information through to the client computer which is Flight Two and that gives all of the weather that you see outside there. And here you can see the the throttle quadrant, the radio pedestal, and of course here is the forward overhead. Now I may have arranged the three screens on the external views in this particular pattern. I also arranged all of the screens for my main instrument panel also in a specific pattern. And this is the pattern I use. This is how I've arranged them in the computer and then I simply move the screens to fit. And it works. So, now that you've been able to see everything working, how about I do a pushback, start the engines, and go for a, a toodle down the taxiway a little bit just to show you how the controls are working and how the response is for everything else. Does that sound alright? Are you ready? 
Well, in that case then, buckle up, fasten your seatbelts please, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll do our departure. First of all though, I'm going to need to close the door and bring up the stairs. Starting right engine today. on main engines. Put the air conditioning back on. Taxi lights. And I can see all around me here. So let's go ahead and let's taxi to the uh, how about we just taxi to the end of the active runway, shall we? Okay. So brake is off. A little power. And here we go. I'm going to uh, turn right up here. Somebody stick their hand out the window as I turn right, please. <laughs> Look at that. See the graphics? There's no 
jitter, no stutter, everything is nice and smooth. And here we are now on the taxiway. The weather is showing some patterns on the radar. Quite amazing looking out. I'm getting used to this new view. Okay, all right, I 
airport over there to the left. Ah, there's the uh, sun going down there, looking over the tops of the hills. So there you have it. Everything is working. Controls are all working. I had some problems with the controls, um, and it was um, it was like trying to drive the aeroplane through thick mud. I mean, treacly. It was terrible. And then I uninstalled PMDG and reinstalled it. And this time it worked. So it must have been just one of those little things that happens with technology. So there you have it. Week 45, I now have a working simulator. A little bit of cosmetic dressing to put over the arms and the bare wood and we'll be ready to take on proper passengers. Although I haven't yet managed to uh, change the seating. The seating is still the same. Uh, my dining room chairs, not exactly Ryanair approved, but they work. Right, so we'll Thank you for visiting and for watching, and I'll see you on the flight to Split in Croatia. Bye.